Right, so we are here with the doggies and we're currently preparing boxes with chewy bits for our new foster doggy. Hey Panda, Chucky, yes. Both of my whiteys are helping, of course. So we have uh, different boxes. There are the large boxes and this is where we have our chewy treats in. So there's like a lot of packages and boxes and yeah, basically a lot of things. And we're going through these just now. I thought I'd take you, oops, sorry. I thought I'd take you with me to just um, yeah, prepare some of the long lasting chew boxes. I know this is where all your treats are. Um, one is food, this is the food actually. Um, yeah, so this is the last one. We probably won't take any of these. So this is um, giant wild boar sticks. So they look like this, basically they are massive. So we're not going to take any of these into our, um, I know, Peter, into our tiny containers because they're just too big. Um, and then we have hairy fully rolls. So they look like, they look like this. Um, yeah, so we will leave these ones out, so we're not taking any of these. By the way, the boxes are from Amazon. I really like them because you can um, close them properly. And even my wadis can't get in there. Right, guys? So we're going to go through these packages. I'll show you what kind of chews we use. And um, if you're vegetarian or vegan, then you might not want to watch this video. Um, and then we're just going to prepare these boxes. So we have them basically in several rooms. Um, to just keep all three or four dogs, depending on where Rambo is, calm and occupied when I need to get some work done, etc. So we, um, yeah, we'll get the dog today later on, and this is what we're going to do now. So we have here the JR Pet Products Beef Slices with Hair. So I'll pop these ones in the same container because, yeah, usually I like to give them the same ones because they basically um, then kind of like last the same-ish length. So this is the skin and then there is um, the hair on the other side and they come also in extra large so if you have a really big dog or body breed I would go for the extra large ones for the wild eggs. These are usually enough. Um, the extra large ones they chew for several days but I quite like this size and I think they're quite handy. Yeah, they're your favorites aren't they? We found another tiny bit so they go in one box. Oh, by the way, in this box here, we have um, pig ears, like they are um, Iberian pig ears. So there's four of them already in, they stay in this box. And then we have the rolled rabbit skin with hair. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's it's a bit sticky and it's basically the, the rolled skin. They are quite fast snakes though for my dogs. Just popped all the hairy bits in here. Um, yeah, so they go through these, it's basically just a quick snack. So these ones last way, way longer, but these ones are just a super fast snack for them. So, um, yeah, it's nothing for my dogs at least where they stick on to forever or like take a really long time. Also, you might want to check on how often you want to feed the hairy bits or like the natural ones with hair, um, simply because, um, you want to keep them healthy, of course, and don't want to feed the hairy bits too often in a week. We have some more of this, so I will just keep it in the packaging because um, I'm not sure yet how Zamara likes this. I don't know if she's used to any of this, so yes, we just keep two here and then we see how she's getting on with the chewy bits. So let's have a look what's in here. Beef tendons, big favorite in our house. Um, they look like this. So there's just a tiny bit of it. Um, they are a very big favorite. They usually are like way bigger. So you can see already they come in different sizes. These are some offcuts. Um, if you're in the UK, this is what the brand looks like, Enco. They do some offcuts and I really do like them. Like um, it's way cheaper. So if you have like made plenty of drugs, you might want to check for pricing, etc. But they are like basically offcuts. They can't really sell for full price. So this might be something really handy for you. And I'll just grab like two more. Hopala. And I just grabbed now two more of the small ones and just pop them into our box. So we basically have three each. There's a piece of beef skin that we still had, so yeah, we leave this in the box. But um, yeah, so we have three tendons here. I know, guys. I know. Yeah, it smells good, huh? Then we have bully skin here. So bully skin. 
as they can fit in my box so we ease them out my body skin will last a really long time so yeah they are usually treats my dogs get where they have to be entertained for longer so you can see it's quite thick this really is a proper long lasting treat for mine so we would keep these ones in the box and the big one because yeah they don't fit in the small plastic he wants um, however the the beef um, skin is really like something that is long lasting so I'm gonna put you aside and just check what's underneath right so I pop the remaining beef tendons like the smaller pieces just in here and then we have so the box is now empty except for like the um, the beef skin and we have another complete full box and then the ones with the with the white bore so these are the like the really long big ones and yeah this is empty now and then we have another full box to go through so I'll probably do a second video about it so we have here the junior bully sticks um dental aid long lasting so this is what they look like we haven't really tried these ones yet so the packaging looks a bit rough but we haven't tried these ones yet then we have um a beef braid so we're going to take some out of this one so these are the beef braids um this is what they look like um, as mentioned, we got the off cut, so they are not like perfectly braided. Um, you can see, you know, they are some of them are proper like braid and some of them are not. So for us, it doesn't really make a difference because my dogs eat them anyways. So we keep a few of these ones in the box. I keep the other ones just in here and fill these boxes up when we need to. So then we have some more braids. So we have lamb braids, camel braids, and bully puzzles good guys and girls so the lamb braids is quite similar so these are the lamb braids let's pop some in here they are quite um i don't know if you can see this but they are quite thin so usually these are a really fast like quick snack they won't last really long because they are quite easy for my dogs to chew so I want to three in here. So these are the bully puzzles and they are quite um, small as well. So again, relatively fast chew. Pop some in here. Um, yeah, so they won't last too long. You can obviously get these ones in uh, thicker sizes as well. And then we have the camel braids. So this is what they look like. They are not really braids. Um, so this is again why they are off cut. So they basically um, just yeah look like the the normal beef skin, but this is camo, so we keep a few of these ones in here. And now let's pop these bags back and check what's in the other ones. So as my box is already pretty full, I just grabbed these ones, and these are beef tiles. So you can see this is inside. Um, they are quite a, like quite a long chew. You might want to check also. Um, whether your dog is capable of chewing these or whether you might want to take them away after a while so but this is I guess it for today because our boxes are basically full so we will um, yeah now wait for the dog to arrive settle her in and then um, I keep you posted how we're getting on and how fast or how long our boxes last and yeah so we have a just repacked so we have one box still left and then we have this one here which has some more hairy bits, um, some ears, goat sticks, giant goat sticks and the beef tail. So um, I will go through this one in the next video and it won't take too long because usually you want to keep um, also in mind that this is natural too so you want to feed them in a certain amount of time 